Ahem. Welcome back to the Agostino Zinger Show, episode number 162. Uno si seis dos. Uno seis dos, right? I think that's how you say it. Welcome. It's me, your host, Agostino Zinger. And it's a very foggy, foggy, foggy Friday morning. Um, here I am back on the podcast, airwaves, YouTube waves, whatever it, other waves you may call it. I'm looking outside the right of my window in my little tiny humble abode in Stratford. And all I can see is fog. It looks like a big old giant farted all over this town. No, I actually know what it looks like. It looks like gigs in that video, Big Bad, where he's super huge and he's swatting away all these police cars and shit. It looks like he took a massive shit because he went to Morley's too many times in one week. That's what it looks like out there. And I bet you any money it fucking stinks as well, right? Because that's what happens when you fart in the wind and you pick up all this white smoke everywhere and that smoke hits your face and then it goes through your nostrils and then it burns your eyes and your ears start leaking and your throat gets really dry and that's when you know your gigs has farted somewhere. <laughs> Talking about gigs, his new album is out, Big Bad, check that out. Um, I just listened to it just now on my way when I was running outside just now um and it sounds fucking amazing so far 187 sounds fucking awesome i played that about four times i was running and then there's a track with john legend that sounds fucking heavenly i never knew i never uh i never thought gigs and john legend could sound so good but it sounds fucking sick um i've just got um offset's new album too uh father of four which looks very interesting interesting to see how that goes around and um offset's pivot is interesting right he gets involved in all that um extra relationship stuff that has nothing to do with us right but you know unfortunately celebrity um entertainment or gossip culture makes sure that we find out what marital crises they're going through he goes through whatever he's going through and then he ends up like you know finally getting cardi b back he's sticking to her like a piece of velcro right following her everywhere she goes uh you know which you can't blame him you know cardi b's a rather attractive young lady and i'm sure if he if he fucked it up there'll be plenty of guys ready to you know plenty of fucking white knights with their fucking swords like a i mean ready to fucking save her honor so i don't blame him but then he's pivoted all the way around didn't it he went from being this guy that did like you know allegedly you know partook in um some extramarital affairs with numerous ladies on a set night and now he's gone to being like this father right this kind of you know always posting stuff about his kids hanging out with his family it's interesting isn't it when guys get caught cheating they just go full family right they just completely cut off anything else they live like a monk they pretend they don't have any guy urges to go out and just get levered and you know and be a bit of a bloody nuisance. They completely go the opposite way, which is you know I guess for the ladies in town it's probably a good thing, right? Guys can do that; they have that kind of switch inside of them. But I think for all of us out there, right, all of us other men out there who are holding a fort down and you know not trying to be you know confined by our partners, I'm not trying to be confined by society or by the men. We're like, hey guy, you're not cool anymore, man. You sold us out, right? That's how we do. That's how we acting, but. You know what? Let him do what he's gonna do. But yeah, I got Father of Four there. I'm gonna listen to that later. I got um Little Pump Harvard coming out. It's, it's out too, right? I've got that. I've got to listen to um got a few others listen to. Oh, uh, I listen to Home Shake as well. Check that out. Album out. Home Shake is a uh, uh, oh what what whose band was he in with? Home Shake is a former member of what's the guy that I like? What's his fucking name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Check out Home Shake. It's all one word. Um, he's got a great album that's out now at the moment. And yeah, generally, here I am, man. Just go back from running, as I told you, usual. I'm feeling fucking strong, as you can tell. Look at those biceps, right? Loads of fucking press-ups in there. Can you see that? Can you tell? There, that's a bicep press-up. That's all press-ups in there. <laughs> My shirt can't go over it. But yeah, I went to um, I went running today. I'm following the... I'm following the... What? Uh, the power... Is it called there? What is it called? unbreakable runner that's what the book's called i'm following that model and so far so good i did uh five 400 meter um repeats which meant kind of going around this kind of block that i've got next to my house and timing it for the most part i tended to kind of stick towards sticking between like a seven a seven minute 20 and a six minute fit 20 seven twenty six minute yeah like a, a minute in between um for like my average pace i'm trying to get that down as soon as possible so then when i start when i go for my race finally I'll be in tip-top condition to hopefully get a PR. But that's about it, really. It's going to be a pretty quiet weekend for me. No DJing or anything this weekend. So probably going to chill out and take it easy. Um, so we've got a new washing machine coming in, which is going to be fun, right? It's always fun fitting in a new washing machine. But we've got to take out the washing machine that's there, which is weird, isn't it, right? I think nowadays 
people in general that work these fucking jobs, right? They want to do as least possible that they can do and just fucking get in and out, which I don't blame them for, right? But the guy that's going to fit our new washing machine and told us to kind of take out the old one, unscrew it from the wall, take out everything. So then when he comes in, he can just slot that new one in and plug it in. And it's like, dude, why are we having to do your job? Your job is to fit a new washing machine in, right? If they, this is just, I don't know, what is he only used to going to houses that have no washing machine and just fitting them in? I'm sorry, we have one. Take it out for us. But instead, we have to do it. So I have to fucking break my back and pull out the washing machine, unscrew it from the back. But I think it shouldn't be too much hor- um, trouble. And that's basically the <laughs> the, the makeup of my weekend. Um, they, I might go to Mixed Garage actually on Saturday because uh, one of my favorite DJs, Steffi, uh, the Dutch queen who now is really relocated. I think if she lives in Berlin, I'm not too sure. But um, one of my favorite DJs, um, kind of like, you know, she was, she kind of came to me. I kind of stumbled across Steffi during my kind of deep house phase. Um, I wouldn't, she, she probably wouldn't say she makes deep house because a lot of people don't really like to, that label or tech house in that regard. But um, um, yours is one of my favorite track. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. You know the song. I'm not going to sing it. But yeah, she's got a song called Yours. That's one of my favorite songs ever. And she's going to play a mixed garage for the night Origins. Origins is a night that I went to a couple, of, a few weeks ago when I saw Rubenstein and Roy Perez. And they have loads of good people that they have booked there for the most part. Um, they do some really, really great bookings. And they're going to be at mixed garage um, tomorrow. I've uh, no Saturday, right? Saturday. So um, if you're looking for something to do on the weekend, I recommend you check that out. And apart from that, I think that might be it. And then taking it easy chilling out and relaxing because i like to relax anyway so um not got not long left so i don't want to keep rambling on intro wise let's get on on in because there's loads of stuff i want to talk about before the weekend because i'm not going to be around going to be chilling scratching one's balls um what have we got here oh 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 first and foremost because you know we always talk about this guy because he's in the fucking news all the time but jesse smollett got um handed himself in right to police didn't he yeah he handed himself in he surrendered he said look all right guys you got me all right i lied they weren't two black guys they were just you know it wasn't i mean it wasn't maga wearing guys it was just two of my mates you know who decided to put me in involved in this nonsense um let's put it here up here on the screen so this is flipping this is him here he is um what an embarrassing end to the whole entire story um he got i think he what did he, he hand himself into police and I think the police officers now have kind of let us know that supposedly the reason behind it, if you're curious why, is that he felt that he wasn't being paid adequately enough by the studio um, that produces Empire or the network that produces Empire. I'm not too sure who his um, um, grievance was or is who his grievance was with or who's his grievance with, who he was annoyed by. I don't know. There's some way he said himself. But whatever. There's some way you form a sentence that I have no idea about because I'm too highly strung today. But anyway, he didn't feel like he was being adequately compensated. So like all rational people, right? Instead of going on, I don't know, and emailing his line manager, I don't know, reaching out to HR, I don't know, talking to his manager or his agent, he decided, hmm, what should a Hollywood actor, what should a TV star do, right? Oh, I got it, right. Let me hire my two biggest black mates right they couldn't get any more blacker and pretend they're white supremacists get them to wear a hat that triggers everyone get them to tie a noose around my neck to you know harken back to some um horrible horrible times in american history pour bleach over me which i don't get the bleach thing um is that to get rid of the prince i have no idea what the bleach thing is or maybe just to burn the eyes right i'm assuming i don't know what it what, the, what that's about beat me up which it didn't really beat me up right because if you get imagine if those two nigerian mates of his those um extras that work on empire who allegedly work on empire i, don't, I think one of them or two of them have worked on empire before or his gym buddies if those two guys actually went to beat him up he wouldn't look the way he looked he looked he didn't look that great enough i think my suspicion wasn't the fucking fan um the nature of the story my suspicion was um uh, his face he just didn't look like someone that got fucked up and i think when you get fucked up for real like in a like even when you lose a fight the last thing you want to do is post a picture of yourself on the internet just a fight a fight that you got into and the guy just like you know he bested you let alone getting attacked right because of your race or because of your um sexual preference right now it doesn't make any sense you wouldn't do that but what triggered me was just a face i just thought nah you can't get beat up but anyway he decided that was a good idea and obviously it all crumbled and now it comes comes out that he, he just didn't wasn't getting paid enough that's why he did it so immediately you see the character of the man because instead of taking a responsibility for what he done and just saying look i fucked up you know um i want to be a victim 
I want to be included in these fucking stories. I want to be included in this activist movement. I wanted to, to have a march named in my honor. All this fucking nonsense. Oh. You know what? Actually, imagine the amount of people who were um, who were planning to, do, to to protest, to march. If um, if it if it if it transpired that this story, imagine if the police weren't as weren't as thorough, didn't investigate as deep as they did, and it came out that maybe it happened. Imagine the marches. Imagine the rallies. Imagine the signs. Imagine the fucking T-shirts. Oh, I'm so. Oh, did anyone at the Grammys make a speech about it? Because that'd be so cringe if you could replay that again. Someone made a speech. Oh, we should stand up to bigotry. <laughs> like, what? What? Honestly, we live in... The world is quite a safe place at the moment. Especially, especially if you live on the west side of the hemisphere. You're pretty safe for the most part, right? Regardless of your, you know, faith, your race, your colour, your creed, your background. For the most part, you're quite safe. And if you're not safe... For the most part, if you live in a prosperous nation, you can save money and you can just move. Other places, you can't do that. You are fucked, right? You're fucked. You're fucked. Try and be uh, Justice Smollett in Georgia. Try and do that. All right? Try and do that. Try and be Justice Smollett in Georgia. See how that goes down for you. You can't. Or they make it very, very difficult for you. They let you know that you're not welcome. And then here you are in the land of the home and free creating hate crime triggering people with things like the hat the fucking maga country uh the noose the bleach like this guy is nuts man and then he went back to his hotel room with the fucking subway in his hand and a noose still around his neck and he left it there for the police to see this guy's nuts man this guy's nuts this guy's fucking nuts this guy's fucking nuts this guy's fucking nuts i don't know but hey there he is man um the an embarrassing end to the whole story um the judge came out and made a little statement regarding everything um so this is the headline from bbc jesse smollett um judge calls alleged hate hoax a despicable i agree chicago judge has said the charges that a u.s actor uh, staged a hoax hate crime against himself are utterly outrageous and despicable if true the first year old african-american actor is accused of filing a fake police report claiming he was a victim of a homophobic so <laughs> yo man actors are fucking nuts man i swear there's something about acting that just brings out the worst in people i swear it must do um that sociopath fucking trait just like reeks out of their fucking pores, and it? it's just amazing. It's just when you spend that much time pretending to be other people, right? And um, you live in this uh, manufactured environment. And you live in an environment where you're always having to fucking dance for somebody in order to get a job. I just think it kind of fucks you up in general. I just don't think it's healthy. The industry. I'm not gonna again. He's to blame for it. It's wholly his fault. But there's something about the industry how it's set up that it kind of does this to people. Like you know, there's so many crazies in in, in the acting world right like how many times have you heard somebody say in the interview oh i met so-and-so actor and they were so chill they were so down to earth so quote-unquote normal why do people why do people make such a big fuss about meeting an actor or an actress and stating that that person was really chill and down to earth why do people do that because usually most of the time these guys are psychos that's why so when you meet a when you meet one that's just fucking safe and just chilling out, or you bump into one, I don't know, having a pint somewhere, and, it, and it, you, you just exchange some pleasantries, and you're like, raw, oh, this guy's really nice. That's why. Because most of the time, they're psychos. <laughs> um, judge John Fitzgerald like, oh, what a great fucking name for the judge, isn't it? Judge John Fitzgerald like, or Leaky, um, I don't know how you pronounce that one, um, is, who's also black, who is also black. Everyone's black in this story. This, the, this is the this is the first hate crime in history that involved this many black people, right? He did it, what, is Chicago quite, there's big population of black people in Chicago, I'd assume, right? Yeah. Um, he's a very famous black actor, right? Yeah. Um, the police chief in Chicago state was black, yeah. Um, his um, alleged accomplices were black, yeah. Um, super black, Nigerian black, yeah. And then the judge is, in, his, in his case is black, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Um, and I'd imagine there's quite a few uh, black conservatives in Chicago, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Affluent black conservatives who get who, who are annoyed of this kind of you know group think that they think exists in Hollywood. Yeah, and it takes opportunity to fucking pin this guy to a wall. Yeah. Oh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Um. Uh, police say the stage holds attack because he was dissatisfied with his salary. God damn it. You know what? But then again, let's take a step back, right? Pay. 
I mentioned it a few times, Saturday. I've spoken to my friends about this before, right? I think there is a problem that we have in general, or I think young people or people within my generation, where that we don't really talk about pay. People don't talk about what they earn. And I think the fact that we don't talk about what we, uh, what we earn with our friends fucks us up in the long run because we're not aware of our value. We're not aware of what our friends are getting in court with what, so we can negotiate a- accordingly. I think some of us are just so happy to get employed that we just take the first offer that's given to us. And I think some of us need to, need to be a little bit more... We need to learn how to negotiate. But the only way you can negotiate is if you kind of, I think, if you're, especially if you're shy, is if you know somebody in your friendship circle who probably doesn't have as enough experience as you or maybe isn't as good at the job as you, right and you hear that they get more it will give you the encouragement right to then seek a little bit more compensation and i think sometimes when you pretend like it's not a big issue and it starts to eat away at you later on those things can affect the way you work in the long run and they're tiny things but when you don't address them at the beginning because usually when you before you start a job you could usually get the opportunity to always negotiate pay and i found whenever you start a job and don't negotiate in the beginning it's very difficult then to go back around and try and negotiate because companies for the most part try to you know if they can extract the amount of value they can out of you paying you what they're paying you now why would they then increase your wage right it's not their program to do that it's not within their best interest right they, they'd rather much rather keep you at the salary you're in keep you dancing for the man and then you deliver the work and pay you um as less as they can right but I think if you try to negotiate your salary in the beginning, you're more likely to get an increase. And sometimes I think when you don't, it can sometimes lead to weird things, right? Like you turning up late all the time, uh, being argumentative with your colleagues or your manager, just having a, a horrible attitude. And it comes from the idea that you think every time you wake up, you're like, fuck, man, I hate this place, man. They don't pay me enough. But you didn't say nothing, right? They have no idea, right? They might have not paid you enough. They might be fucking dickheads, but they don't know. They have no idea. You didn't tell them. So I think you really owe it to yourself and to the people that you work with to really, if that's a big thing for you and it's important, say it, say something. Because look, you don't want to end up like Juicy. You don't want to end up creating a fake help, hoax, hate crime, whatever. Um, anyway, it continues. La, 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 la. The star's lawyer issued a strongly worded statement after the hearing calling it an organized law, inf- law enforcement spect- spectacle and describing Smollett as a young man of impeccable character. Huh. Okay, so what? Is it not true? Look at him coming into the fucking... This is what he wanted. Just attention. Look, he's even got a little smirk on his face. This is what he wanted. Attention. Look at that. This, uh, this is the attention economy. This is what... This is this is the this is the problem with this victimhood culture. It creates fucking um, attention celebrities. This is what he wanted. He just wanted people to know who he was, right? Again, he is a black... Tup- he's a gay Tupac, supposedly, right? Like, oh, Tupac will be rolling in his grave at the mention of his name with this guy, man. Jesus Christ. What happened in court? That symbol conjures up such a evil in this country's history judge like said of a rope that smollett claimed attackers had hung around his neck and a hat to be honest um the judge's comment at thursday's court appearance alluded to the racist lynchings of fans of black americans in post-american civil war uh, smollett who stars in a tv in tv series empire suspended uh, of paying two it's a suspected of paying two brothers to stage an attack on himself the siblings are corrupting the investigation police say um i wonder what happens to, to, the, to the siblings if they cooperate would they get charged too just because they took part? I don't know how that works. Um, Chicago officials say Smollett also sent a racist letter uh, to himself at Fox Studio. Oh, my God. He sent it to himself. Okay, cool. Because I heard the story that supposedly that got sent to the office Fox Studios, the letter. And that's what, and, but Fox didn't respond the way he liked, he, the way he thought they were going to respond. They didn't like, I don't know make a big statement a big hoo-ha he got annoyed and that's why he staged a hoax but it looks like that didn't happen so he looked oh jesus christ the judge said smollett's bail is hundred thousand which requires him to submit a bond of ten thousand and surrender his passport smollett denies the charge of felony disorderly conduct his lawyers said that they would mount an aggressive defense so what what i wonder what the defense is gonna be so they're saying he didn't do it hmm Hmm, okay. Jack Pryor, one of the actor's attorneys, told that the court accusations were inconsistent with Smollett's character and that the actor wants nothing more than to clear his name. If convicted, he could be sentenced to three years in prison and made to pay for the cost of the police investigation. So, interesting. Justice for Jesse. Who the fuck is doing that? Huh. Anyway, um, I wonder. So, what is, what, what is, what's his defense going to be? That I guess if you're Jesse Smollett, you're gonna say those two brothers. He didn't know. He didn't know who they were. Basically, he could. Yeah, he could do that, right? Because because they had. It was a, it was one of the coldest um, um, evenings in Chicago, right? Um, I think it was like blizzard weather. People were wearing balaclavas and stuff. So he could allege that he didn't see them. He didn't know it was those two black guys. They purposely shouted those things at him to kind of throw him off, 
that's that could happen um yeah or like you know in widows when the, where the women break into the house and they have those masks that have those uh voice decoders on um inside the mask so it kind of uh dig fucks up your it kind of um scrambles your voice maybe he kind of thought they had one of those things so you can't really tell who it is and if you're wearing gloves and you've got a banner on you won't be able to see any skin color really um hmm okay um i guess we'll see in it or maybe we won't but yeah this guy wanted the attention he's got it everyone's out at the court everyone's outside the court and stuff waiting for him to come out and put his fists up in the air and declare that he's some sort of fucking you know i don't know warrior or something but again absolute mess of a story but what can you do what can you do um next on the list here we have Pata spring summer 2019 lookbook i am excited for that pat is one of my favorite brands out there streetwear wise i think they are flying the flag for the quintessential streetwear look they do not try to become a fashion brand they do not try to cater to these fucking fashion wankers they don't try and be trendy they just deliver key pieces within a streetwear wardrobe done season in season out high high quality the sweats the tracksuits i went into the store a couple times in the past i haven't been in there recently and i felt the materials the heavy sweats remind me of the stuff that supreme used to do where their sweat company they used to use in canada i forgot the name of it um but really high quality sweats most of the sweatshirts have a wrangland sleeve which i'm a big fan of nice tracks nice tracksuits um, and now and nowadays they're doing those great little um road um what you call it roadman bags right there's little side bags that they're doing and they've got a new collection that just come up now i saw on hype beast um spring summer 2019 collection which i'm gonna get up here on the screen and for those of you listening you have to check that out on youtube on youtube or on google yourself motherfuckers um so this is um uh pata spring summer 2019 lookbook and as i mentioned just really high quality things i'm a big fan of it um and it says here the following pata is pleased to uh share the spring summer 2019 lookbook shop by Mino Cock, uh, Men- Meno, Meno Cock, right? Uh, next to traditional street wearing classic sportswear t shirts, right? Classic, that's what I like staples t shirts, long sleeve, hooded sweatshirts, crew necks. That's what you need. Fucking brand identity. None of this fucking following the wind of all these fashion wankers that are coming in. All over printed uh, denim shirts, cardigan, basic chinos, cord, um, long sleeve tees, um, and updated fits for the base classic range. So I wonder what's a cord long sleeve tees. Hmm. I, I really like this suit, actually. This suit is this guy's wearing is amazing. It might look like, is that a para art, artwork or somebody else? I don't know. But that looks fucking awesome. And a nice belt. I'm assuming is that part of the belt too? Maybe it is. So that kind of denim suit looks really cool. Again, just great T-shirts. Um, do people? Re- I, I read my book in bed like that sometimes too. <laughs> Pattern motivation is fucking cool. Again, great tracksuits. Like the, the hue on that orange one is really nice. I wonder if the logo on the Pata sweats are embroidered or screen printed. If they're embroidered, I'd much prefer it. But no screen printed, you can do with that too if they're done well. Again, just good tracksuits, good things. Like, I, I I don't know. I think I'd much pref- maybe just just me, right? I think I'd much prefer to wear a sweatshirt with Pata emblazoned on the front as opposed to Supreme. Just looks less wanky. I think. Supreme, I think, as big as big as a fan I am of Supreme, there's the days of me wearing a box or a hoodie or with a, a massive t-shirt with Supreme on the front are well, well, well gone. Um, I can't do that nowadays. Um, just because you know, it just conjures up you know ideas of you know, um, really spotty um white teenage kids you know queuing up to buy anything that's got Supreme on the front of it. I can't do that nowadays at my age. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind wearing a pattern thing. And a Stussy too. I don't know why that is. Maybe because it harkens back to like a, uh, you know, the the glory years of of uh, streetwear. I don't know. But for me, I wouldn't necessarily like to wear you know a Supreme hoodie top. But I prefer to wear a pattern the top with you know the same thing. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um. Anyway, let's continue. Blah 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 blah. Um. Did, 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 did. Alongside the alongside the main collection, pattern presents a new pattern sound system DJ bag. Oh, awesome. So what what can you put in that in that sound system DJ bag? I'm assuming headphones and shit. Alpha Industries M65, a Fairtex Pata Muay Thai shorts. Oh, that's what I saw earlier. And Pata waist bag and new hardware. What's the sound system thing? DJ bag. Okay, I want to check that out, but I haven't seen it yet. So again, nice track suits. Those new balances are really popular. I think it's a 990, right? I've seen a lot of people wearing them nowadays, which is great to see. People are diverting away from the, the usual hype pieces. These guys might be brothers, I'm assuming. Um, again, uh, great coach jackets, which again, just staple, staple, staple pieces. Is that a coach jacket or is that MC5? I think that's a coach jacket. Yeah, it looks really nice. 
I'm not really a fan of all the text weather, but it is what it is. Is that the DJ bag? I don't think it is. I think that might be a waste bag. Maybe that's the DJ bag. Maybe that's the, um, the main bit where you put your headphones and that's maybe a side compartment for cables. I don't know. I'm not too sure. The grey tracksuit again looks good. Um, reminds you, This guy reminds you like of a character from La Han, La Han or whatever that thing is. Again, a nice sweatshirt, hoodie here, yellow with black lettering. Um, are the rings pattern too? Are they getting into jewelry? They haven't mentioned it on the thing. Maybe they get into jewelry and sunglasses. I'm not too sure. Um... Again, just great look. This look here just looks great. It could look, you know, great during the day. I'm um, hanging out with friends after work, you know. It's a good look with like a cardigan with some sheeners and a pair of Converse's on. Again, nice purple hoodie with a drawstring on the hood. Oh, you gotta be careful. You have to be careful about what strings you use nowadays in hoodies, isn't it? <laughs> and if it looks like a noose, you're getting you're getting dragged, mate. Um, shout out to Burberry. Um, you guys, you guys, man. I wonder if Burberry have a social media department because you know there must be someone in that social media team that was seeing some of the new collection. It might have been like, look, guys, you know, so I get, I get the nautical theme, but nowadays you just can't do that. Um, again, nice cardigan, great shorts. I want to see this DJ bag. Where is it? Oh, this look is amazing. Again, just mild grey hood tracksuit, right? A mild grey tracksuit. Again, that like, these Nike shocks, right? I don't know, there's something, they look so shit on boys, but on girls with smaller feet, they look amazing. The classic colorway, black with silver, with the with the red shocks in the back, they look so good on this girl, like, so nice. But I know for sure, on my fucking size 10 feet, shocks would not look this good. But yeah, nice mild grey hoodie, um, and mild grey tracksuit, classic streetwear, just classic fucking streetwear. Can't go wrong with this. Again, nice tops, Clarks there, yeah, nice bomber jacket. I can't find this DJ bag they mentioned. Um, the slides there. Again, a nice tracksuit, half zip. Um, yeah, I don't see what the slides they keep mentioning here. The the DJ bag. The, uh, and that's the Muay Thai shorts. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I think... <laughs> oh, and it got a football top as well. That's really nice. Um, I think I mentioned before, but... Bruv, I swear to God, right? And this is only my opinion, right? But I, 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 I bet you Pata must be the worst shop to try and shoplift from. Imagine you went to Pata in Amsterdam and you tried to shoplift from there. You tried to fucking jack a hoodie or some shit. Like, they must be... They must have three or four people in that fucking shop that know Muay Thai, MMA, uh, Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing. Honestly, imagine trying to jack, jack something from Pata. They will fuck you up. <laughs> like, in an instant, you'd be getting fucking elbows and shit. Imagine. <laughs> like, oh, my God. They will bang you like honestly you'd get so ah uh, honestly that would be i would kill to see that cctv footage if someone tried to steal something tried to do a, someone tried to do a smash and grab like run in get something from the finger run away you would get fucked up so hard oh i'd love it i'd love it but yeah anyway shout out to pata you guys do the bit you guys do the best stuff um i'm a big fan of what they do just really consistent um really small um focused collections high quality stuff and yeah just fucking you know uh put in put in Putting the putting the beats on these other streetwear brands out there. Anyway, let's continue. What is next on here? Sports that banger. Sports banger did a show during Fashion Week, which looks quite interesting too. Not really the biggest sports banger fan. I got to be honest. Um, um, I quite like the shirts I see Scream wearing when he DJs because he's always fucking repping sports banger. So that's cool. He's got. I think he's a couple of times I've seen him wear that. Um, uh, uh, the Pat T-shirt, right? They've got from Sports Banger, the one that's got the Pat from EastEnders on the back of it, and a few others. Um, he's a big fan of it, but it looks like from reading in between the lines that during London Fashion Week, the um, what's his name, something Banger, I forgot it, Johnny Banger or something, right? The guy that does Sports Banger. Um, he was, you know, just a, getting inspired, feeling the love and the creative energy during Fashion Week, and said, you know what, fuck it, let me do an impromptu fashion show, an off fashion show thing at, at his little store. Um, and yeah, and um, they just crammed all in there. And he had a little kind of, you know, um, DIY runway, which is the fucking length of the fucking store itself. And he got people to wear the stuff that he made. Um, and it looks really nice, to be honest. I'm, 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 I'm not mad at it. Um, again. I think I mentioned previously that I was kind of looking for some sport, some, sorry, some rave, some clubbing, some clubbing wares, right? Or rave inspired clothing, right? Because, you know, the times I've been to Berlin, I've been really enamored, obviously, with the clubbing culture there. That's fucking, that goes without saying. But there's actual club kids in Berlin, right? Girls, especially groups of girls, groups of guys that go out in groups of fucking five, right? Five or more dressed amazing, like futuristic, latex everywhere, rubber, bondage, um, um, straps everywhere. Jeremy, just looking insane, right? And they go for the 
the precise reason of going and just showing out, right? Dancing, having a good time, enjoying themselves with their friends. We generally get a lot here in the UK. There's not there's not many real club kids, really. There might be some in Soho. There might be some in some gay bars around Vauxhall and stuff. You might see those kind of cohorts hanging around. But people that go out and just actually like go to fucking show out, right? Um, spend a whole week putting outfit together and then go and show out during the weekend. You normally get it, but um, here or here, but you get it usually in Berlin. And it seems like from looking online that girls have loads of real good options, right? To where and um, to go to these kind of places like loads of amazing kind of brands that do great things loads of berlin brands as well that i can't really remember but that do great um rave inspired clothing um gay guys have uh, an abundance of options that they can fucking uh, tap into they have they probably have some of the most creative outfits you can see on the clubbing circuit but you know standard you know heterosexual males like me don't really have anything right the most you can do is put on a neon t-shirt right there's nothing more you can do really but I want, you know, kind of a bit more, a bit something more. So I, I looked at 03, 032C, have a new collection they just put out um, that is inspired by the rave culture or clubbing culture. And then obviously Sports Banger, it being you know, primarily, uh, I'd call it a Kana brand. They probably wouldn't say that. They probably wouldn't say a rave brand, but I call it a Kana brand. Any any of my mates that are bang on ket and love drinking, um, I don't know, uh, um, red stripe and shit um they will probably wear this sort of stuff so um again i'm a big fan of it i love what they do um this in the image here is i think a scream in this hazmat suit um with a massive mitsubishi looking um pill which if you know your pills and you're about that life you know that mitsubishi pills were the legendary ones um yes yeah, so it's johnny banger so this article is from dazed and confused um it's a well-known fact that when it comes to fashion week some of the most exciting news happens way off schedule and far from the beaten track uh proven just proven just that was london bootlegger sports banger having made his name with his politically charged knockoff tees that remix a nike swoosh with the nhs logo and plus the uk tory government at every available chance founder johnny banger through his fruit through his first ever fashion show this weekend taking place at the banger studio in seven sisters also the diy event turned the runway into an acid rave as models uh vogued and posed their way through the smoke-filled sweaty place and audiences um included artists jeremy diller and jamie winston shouted enthusiastic enthusiastically from the trip benches at one point diller climbed on onto one of the uh, onto one to get a better look and denched uh and danced so hard it felt like it was definitely going to split in half fucking awesome oh big up jeremy diller man um uh big boy artists out there and um, it's all uh, just a bunch of friends on the off the runway said banger explained afterwards i'd want to do a fashion show for ages and it was a bit ex it was a big uh, it was a bit of an excuse to throw a party um i found out it was for london fashion week this weekend and that was just like fuck it i'm doing it so yeah amazing man great great work for the most part um his friends they're supporting him that's all you need really and yeah for the most part some interesting rave um inspired pieces i'm sure will be popular with most of the guys out there look at this fucking yeah I'm, I'm loving this dude. absolutely loving it absolutely loving it yeah 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 look at them everything looks fucking awesome everything looks awesome everything looks awesome loads of signs novelist was there too it looks like it but novelist here yeah, novelist here novelist there for the culture and that but yeah all in all big up big up sports banger and everything they do again loads of bogan dancing in general that's bogan right is that, is that bogan or is that white people dancing first oh, bogan That's fucking cool. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Big up sports banger doing doing God's work out there, man. You know what I mean? Holding it up for the fucking guys out there that like to get on it and rave. Um, what else is next on the list here? Ba 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 ba. Um, architect, architect, blinds and Taka Kusugo talk about it another time. Moncler and Elix collection. Woo hoo! Fire flames. Five um, a leaks um, from uh, Matthew Williams, uh, you know, the guy who's known from coming from the school of Ben Trill. I think formerly was the creative director for Lady Gaga, Gaga Google. Now he's got his own brand called a leak, which is named after his daughter and it's gone from strength to strength i think it started off a bit it started off looking like a little bit of a helmet lang ripoff. Then after about a season and a half, it just suddenly went Choof! in his own little lane and now he's got his own codes his own kind of aesthetic and it kind of looks like nothing else on the market um i don't know how you'd describe it you'd maybe describe it a bit of cp stone island moogler um uh helmet lang 
maybe Christabel's Balenciaga. Um, I don't know how you describe it, or a bit of Margiela included in it when Margiela was there. It's just such a great brand and stuff that they do. Um, obviously, they've got their signature uh, buckle belt that's um, been co-opted by numerous brands all over the fucking world. But he's done an amazing um, Montclair collaboration. Montclair are doing this. I think it's a genius program right where they tap into some of the four you know some of the leading fashion designers around the kind of fashion industry or the fashion space in general and it gets them to design a little capsule collection um underneath the umbrella of Montclair Genius um and so far you know the fragment stuff was really was well received the Cray Green collection which you might have seen Skepta wear looked really fucking awesome um they had a tom brown collection that looked really cool too i think they did off-white which i don't think got the reaction that he probably thought it was going to get but it looked really interesting too i wouldn't necessarily wear it but it looked cool but so far um this stuff from um elix and um I don't know what am I talking about? Elix and Matthew Williams is probably the best stuff that I've seen from them as of yet. I'm trying to go and try and get it up here on the screen. Bear with me one second. Make this full screen. But yeah, for me, this is definitely the best stuff I've seen um, from the uh, Montclair and um, the Montclair Genius Collection. It looks fucking insane. So this is um, one of the jackets that uh, Matthew Williams here is wearing. Um, and I'm, I want to find out if the boots are part of the Montclair Collection too. I hope they are because those boots look fucking sick. I don't know if they are, but I hope they are. Those boots look amazing. Um, like, look at those boots. Look at them. Like, they look so cool. I'm hoping they're part of the collection too. Um, but yeah, this stuff looks really fucking cool. And again, just the details, right? All the details look amazing, right? So you've got the 1017 Elite's. I think that's the, the address of one of their studios, isn't it? From previous years. But yeah, those boots look fucking cool. I think they're part of the collection too. If they are, me once a pair. Um, the tape seams on the trousers. Like, fuck me. It's easily, it might be the coolest brand out there actually, you know? Just for, for pure, cure cool points. And it's quite well priced. Oh, look, they've got the logo somehow... Um, embossed on the on the invisible um what you call it zips wow looks fucking awesome i'm a big fan of it man looks fucking incredible that bomber jacket looks insane the fastening is that another bag what's that pull tab or a washing tag on the outside like oh just looks insane the, the level of detail um on this is just insane i'm sure um in hand it'll look it'll feel even better I'm sure there's some bits of this that we don't even can see from the screen because we don't know it in, in hand. Um, the, again, the boots look fucking so good. The footwear is really underrated from um, Elix anyway in general, I think for the most part. From the very inception of the brand, they've done really fucking cool, interesting things with footwear. Um, again, look at the look at the fastening on the belts or the, or the jacket, the bags, the face masks. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Really cool stuff, man. I can't wait to see some of the stuff. I wonder what the pricing is going to be like. Oh, they've got glasses too. Is this all collaboration with Montclair, do you think? It must be, right? So he did. So they, they allowed him to do everything. I'm not sure everyone else did shoes. Or did, is he the only one that did shoes? He's done shoes, glasses, face masks, hats. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The detail is just incredible and everything anyway as well, to be honest. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Big up, big up Matthew Williams and everything he's doing now. This is fucking looks incredible really nice great fasting again the fasting clips again detail on there Montclair embossed um loads of different pieces but yeah it just looks incredible i can't wait to see it in real life so that's the Montclair and matthew williams um elite collection coming at you very soon did he mention anything about the boots the boots are fucking cool i hope, hope they're part of the collection but yeah everything there looks amazing and i think when's that coming out due to come out uh it doesn't say does it there's no date for it due to come out um coming soon it says i think they unveiled it the other day in milan but there's no date of when it's actually going to be released so yeah soon 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 um what else is next on the list ba 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 oh supreme 2019 preview i might probably uh, yes you know what um i'm going to collate the stuff that i like and talk about that later because you know there's too many things in there that i like um but by and large a really good collection i'll probably let's maybe just go through the lookbook and see some looks that we like on a lookbook but there's some actual pieces that i like themselves that i want to just highlight for the most part but the lookbook you know as per usual is good right Everyone's a big fan of the lookbook. Let's get that up on screen here for you guys to see. So I can comment along. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yep. So um, again, um, great lookbook as per usual. 
Um, I think this features Sage. Is it Sage Elsa? What his name is Sage something? Yeah. Um, so first look here, we've got a leather blazer. Is it a leather blazer with some track pants and a shirt on the inside? Looks pretty cool. Um, nice necklace. I'm not really a fan of the jacket there. The hoodie's nice. The Formula One hoodie looks really cool. The trench looks good again with a D-ring fastening on it. This suit looks good. I like the pivot they're doing. I, I wonder, because remember when they first launched um when they started doing the first couple of suits i think they the first couple of suits might have been with com or no no it was adam kimmel right um legendary new york designer who's now kind of like out of fashion and i think he retired i'm not sure what he's doing but i wonder if adam kimmel if adam kimmel got um, absorbed into supreme and he's now advising them on how they do their suiting because it looks very adam kimmelish the suits maybe not as baggy looking as some of the adam kimmel suits but maybe that might be because of the aesthetic has changed and shapes in general since he started doing his stuff but um i wonder if if so but this suit looks really cool um i'd hope some kids will p purchase those because i think you know by and large the people are doing a good job of kind of you know aging their customers um or you know um and, and not giving their customers a wardrobe that they can wear that's age appropriate and um these suits for kids that are like you know maybe gone off wearing box logo hoodies might be a good way to kind of transition out of wearing kind of you know quintessential streetwear items but i like the suit i think it looks really cool a um, little styling detail with the button looks good as well i'm not really a fan of the raider stuff um i had a couple of things back in the day remember when everyone was wearing like you know american sports team attire back in the day like baseball jackets and jersey tops and stuff i had a few things but nowadays not so much i have a couple of hockey tops but that's about it which i hardly really wear i only really wear in the summer but I'm not really a fan of wearing a all leather print raiders thing but you know i guess if you're that way inclined it probably might fit you um i love this leather this leather um this leather jacket um with the supreme kind of italians what what do you call it script handwritten on the back it looks really cool i think my favorite color so far of that this jacket is a sort of burnt brown um colorway that looks really cool it reminds me again of another supreme jacket i had before that i sold like an idiot these teal pants as well i'm not mad at um yeah big fan of that um the cardigan is a fucking win easy for me that entire looks a fucking win is a kid's got a fucking cigarette in his hand doesn't he these kids are cigarettes man He's what he's like. He, this kid's like seventeen, and he looks thirty-five, isn't it? Right? Like he's aged like a motherfucker, man. Like cigarettes and booze will probably do that to you, I guess, isn't it? But hey ho, um, he's got great hair though. That's a good thing. He's got good, good head, good set of hair on him. Um, but yeah, the cardigan looks really nice. It's like a cardigan with block colors, looks like for the most part, and black ribbing. And is that a t-shirt? Yeah, leopard print t-shirt on the inside. Yep, I'm a big fan of that. Not not mad at it. Um, denim jacket with the sort of fastens on the front and supreme will love it not a fan of but i like the patched up pants um this is my favorite jacket too man it looks fucking insane and it's probably something you're gonna see all the asap boys wearing they love wearing fucking stuff with skulls and pretending they're dark and shit but i like it anyway in general i like this look it's got a big uh flaming skull on the front white jacket with chains all over it and the matching trousers big fan of that um don't really like this look with the embossed uh supreme bomber they're making a lot of these again aren't they so i think the you know, level production has kind of stepped up a bit they're, they're making a lot of their own sort of like bombery uh down filled jackets nowadays um so probably not you know at where they would have probably lent towards um using north face more they're now doing a lot more inline stuff in terms of you know uh fluffy bombery jackets that you can wear for spring you know kind of roll up and put in your bag or put on top when you're feeling a little bit cold um again nice plaid gore-tex top oh it's gore-tex as well that's awesome i like that I'm not mad at that at all not a fan of that red jacket denim jackets of course always do really well for supreme not really fan of the back not sure who the artist was again i like this jumper with the premium on the side the pants look really nice as well with the roses i love this it's um it's cut like a denim like their standard um denim jackets they have a well a couple of those but i'm not sure if it's pile or if it's faux fur or if it's crushed velvet but it looks fucking awesome burnt orange i'm assuming this is going to be one of the more popular pieces coming out um the next couple of in the, in the next couple of weeks or the next few weeks for the spring collection something that's quite versatile you can use in most outfits I'm, I'm sure it's crushed velvet right it must be crushed velvet um again a big fan of that um this sort of like what would you call that i like this jacket plaid jacket right um with zips on the chest and two front pockets there these white pants look really nice too i'm not sure if they're combats or anything but they look cool uh this pink jacket looks amazing i think it comes in another colorway that i'm a fan of too looks fucking incredible in reminds of like 90s era um, north face or berghouse jackets um there's a shirt also with the drill the, the, he's got he's wearing a pants the pants with the white pants with the drill on it drill illustration there's a shirt for it as well that looks fucking cool 
Um, the Playboy Bunny stuff, I'm, I've never really been a big fan of. Uh, again, the map thing, I think written by Gonz looks really fucking cool. I like that. Uh, Raiders vest, not a big fan of the, the jacket. I, I like this is from an artist with the Reaper logo, right? With the Reaper painting. I forgot the name of the artist. I looked it up earlier, but they look really cool. Um, yeah, again, great collection as per usual from Supreme. Let's get one more here. What's this one? Um, Playboy Bunny shirt, not really a fan of there. That kind of Jamaican. Is that, is that Jamaica colorways? I think so. I don't know. Um, the Orange Bomber, of course, always does well for the Supreme. That's like a staple piece. They always bring in a couple of seasons out. Um, nice short sleeve button up shirt here. This jacket looks really cool. It reminds me of something Noah did, isn't it? Um, this jacket here, sort of like a sail colorway with two big front pockets. Um, I like again this kind of like piled fleece jumper. It looks amazing. Looks something you pick up in a charity shop with Supreme written on it. I like that. It looks really cool. A nice jacket again again so big big fan of all of it um i'm gonna go back to this pile jacket right here it is right oh it's a fuzzy pile i knew it yeah fuzzy pile trucker jacket looks fucking awesome love that um a couple of pieces here i'm a fan of like this leather varsity jacket is one of my favorites as well um in the collection and i can't wait to see more of it um but yeah i'll i'll, I'll show most of the other favorite pieces later on i need to call it and make a little sheet of it some i've got some pieces that i have my eye on that i want to purchase very very soon but i'm assuming yeah that's going to come out what next couple of weeks i'm assuming right is that the next couple of weeks what, what day does it say here um for the new supreme stuff biddy bing bada boom bada bing oh this oh it's, did it come out yesterday no what's the day today 22nd our uh, oh yeah it did yeah it came out yesterday so yesterday in london online um on monday it's cool that's all that's all oh usually it's on the friday isn't it but so okay the following week. okay no worries so um for those of you that are listening now you've probably already got your piece your early pieces already right i'm assuming you early fucking one because but yeah um what else do i want to talk about got to head off in a bit anything else i got here that i want to mention i think that's it you know i think that's it yeah i think that's it. I'll, I'll leave the rest of it for until next week this has been a little short one just to tie you mofos over until the, over until after the weekend this has been the Agostino Zinger Show, episode 162. Thanks so much for tuning in. As per usual, it's been a pleasure to have your company. And I guess I'll see you guys again on the other side, isn't it? Um, next week. Um, I guess I mentioned this weekend's going to be a little bit chill for me. I'm probably going to try and go Origins and see Steffi play, right? Um, I think tickets are still available now. Let me see if they are. Steffi, Res Origins, Resident Advisor. Uh, let's see if it's around. But yeah, that's going to be, I think it's on Saturday. I'm not sure it's on today, today actually, but I probably won't have an option to go anywhere because I'm going to get fucking taken hostage. But and that's sorry for another die. Uh, yeah, so Origin Steffi at Mixed Garage is on. Is tomorrow on the 23rd. Tickets are still available now. I think 14 quid, right? 14 quid to see Steffi play, right? You know, Mixed Garage. Uh, Steffi and Tolkien. I, I don't know who Tolkien is. Um, is that one of her friends, one of her guys, or is that uh, one of the Origins crew that they're gonna play back to back? Yeah, I think it's Origins crew. Um, so yeah, and anyway, so um, uh, that's on that's on Saturday. I think that might be it in terms of what I end up doing. I think tom today or tonight, Friday. Um, what do they have here on RA most popular events? They have a fabric something's happening at fabric jelly g but you know i wish there was somewhere i could go to the bar or hang out where people play music and i could just sit and listen to people play live band or something right and just relax like nothing too crazy i must there must be something in it i gotta find it, it must be something especially local too i don't want to go too far um or actually uh, maybe i'll go to the glove that fits that might be a good option where is it uh the glove that fits right um they've usually got some good events that they do i think it's right it's around the corner from Hom is it homerton i think it's near homerton actually um what do they go up today uh they have ray mang pierce scott and something bruce um playing there which might be uh quite cool to check out but yeah i think that might be it for me actually this is the actual zinger show episode number 162 um i'll see you guys again tomorrow uh, next week actually for another episode for those of you watching those of you listening take care of your family and friends love those are near and dear to you look left and right when you're crossing the road crossing maybe crossing that might be a better idea crossing the road um don't try and do anything i won't do and um yeah maybe i'll do maybe i should do steffi at mixed garage i think that might be a good option steffi at mixed garage then go to um 
then move something else maybe go somewhere local i, said, I keep going weather spins all the time and hanging out there it's all right but it's not the most funnest place to go to sometimes on a weekend but maybe i'll do mixed garage instead hang out there for a bit and then go somewhere else on a saturday i think so that might be a better option to do i might do that i don't know i'll, I'll decide maybe on the, an evening again maybe it's just a, a thing just staying in it and watching some stuff there's dirty john on netflix too that everyone's been talking about and it's far rather interesting so maybe it might be an occasion just watching dirty john hanging out um and just chilling out in it especially if i'm going to be running tomorrow morning as well which i i intend to do for my workout plan but anyway we'll see we'll realize what we do there but anyway um thanks so much for tuning in to and Zinger show all the info regarding why is in the uh, show notes uh, check that out website for my contact details and all the dj stuff and everything else that i do uh defaultgoon.com for my blog uh all my socials are available there too if you're watching on youtube make sure you like give it a like smash that fucking like button give me a little subscribe share with your friends blah 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 if you're listening on the podcast app leave me a review five star review so people can find that shit and i'll see you guys again next week man see ya Ugh!